Well, quite a scene. Thousands of people lining up outside a local church since after midnight, at one point shutting down traffic on Dickerson Pike. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Vicki Yates. People from as far as New York showed up in line for a chance at opportunity. Some say it's a sign of the help that's needed here in Nashville for our immigrant community. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael was out there all morning. She is with us now. And Olivia, why were the people in line? Yeah, so up to 6,000 people showed up here at Casa de Dios. The line started at the doors behind me, went all along the side of this building, through the parking lot, and past those gates in the distance, and then up Dickerson Pike. Now the people that showed up here today needed help with documentation from the Guatemalan consulate in Atlanta. But in order to get that help, they had to make an appointment, something that unfortunately thousands of people left here without. <laughs> this is the chair Kemeli Malcia sat in all night. She says when she arrived at the Casa de Dios church at 2 in the morning, there were already people in line. The Guatemalan consulate in Atlanta is expected to pay a visit in Nashville. Malcia was one of about 6,000 people who waited in line just to schedule an appointment. Quiero ir a Guatemala. Mi abuela tiene 90 años. Brenda Cabrera Letereno says she needs to renew her passport so she could visit her grandmother in Guatemala. A las 5 en punto abrieron allí la entrada y la gente comenzó a correr. But when the gates opened at 5 a.m., she says crowds rushed to the building, cutting her in line. We work with the consulate. Uh, we open up our facilities so people from Guatemala, Mexico, Salvador, Honduras, uh, and other countries are able to get their, renew their passports, uh, their birth certificates, uh, and dual citizenship, uh, or any other questions they have. Assistant Pastor Moises Rodriguez says it's an important opportunity for people to get critical documents they need without traveling to consulates in Atlanta or Virginia. <laughs> We did not expect that many people, and I think it's just, uh, that's because of the, the fact that the Guatemalan consulate hasn't came here in such a while. Now, as Nashville's immigrant population continues to grow, he says it's more reason to open consulates here in Nashville. If we could open a facility in Tennessee or in Nashville, that would be great and help out many Latinos who are here. Now, both women we spoke with today said they actually took off of work so that they could get in line and make that appointment. Unfortunately, neither of them actually made it through those doors behind me. Now they'll have to leave state or look elsewhere for help. Live Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.